Today we celebrate Saint Bruno. Many saints founded religious orders, and many others helped to reform them. Today's saint has the distinction of founding a religious order that never had to be reformed, because it was never deformed. Bruno was born in Cologne, Germany, around the year 1030. He became a famous teacher and served as chancellor of its archdiocese. His dream, however, was to live in solitude and prayer. He persuaded a few friends to join him in a hermitage. After a time, he was given a more remote, solitary site on which to build. There, Bruno and his friends built an oratory with small individual cells at a distance from each other. The year was 1084, the beginning of the Carthusians, a contemplative monastic order. Six years later, Pope Urban II called Bruno to Rome for a consultation about church affairs. When Pope Urban fled because of anti-papal activity, Bruno also pulled up stakes. He spent his last years in the wilderness of southern Italy. Bruno was never formally canonized. The Carthusians resisted publicity. Pope Leo X simply declared Bruno a saint in 1514.